Hello and welcome back to Byzantium, YouTube. The last time I left you, we had finished conquering the South Slavic minor Serbia and Bosnia. They have once again become vassals of the Roman Empire. And now, our weakened empire must look to reclaim our birthright, our empire to the east. And to do that, we'll start by taking Trebizond. Trebizond's only ally is Georgia, and Georgia is currently being eaten by Crimea. Nom nom nom. So, we'll begin by taking them over immediately. If we're lucky, Crimea might leave some of Georgia behind for us to take. Taking Georgia and uh, nearby Armenia would be good for us, as Armenian and Georgian are accepted cultures in Byzantium. Like the South Slavics, they were once vassals of the Roman Empire. We can wait for our cogs to roll up over here and see if Trebizond runs or fights their former overlords. Looks like they're going to stand and fight. Can't say that's a good idea, Trebizond. They tried to leave at the last moment. This battle is actually going uh, rather poorly. Oh no. No matter. We'll just try again. If I could ever select my armies. Ah, they're too low on morale to move. Actually, on second thought, we don't want to fight them. <laughs> what a poor start. Did we even have our leader? Yes, we did. Too bad. We'll just pick up our fresh units here in Zeta. Inauspicious beginnings for the burgeoning Byzantine resurgence. And our trade ship got blown up. Damn you, Trebizond. Who do you think you are? Okay. Our troops are... all back together. I suppose we can wait another month for them to reinforce. No big hurry here. Of course, our next conquest will be against the Ottomans, who are currently fighting a, a winning war against the Mamluks. But that means they'll be in the south, in the Holy Land, and give us some time to block the strait and execute our original goal. Ah, this time you're wisely running, Trebizond. Good move. This should mean that they won't try to attack us as we siege down their only province. Since we didn't have any military access over here, we looted three ducats. Not bad. Good little haul. But soon all of their ducats will be ours. Leave our fleet there for the time being to hasten the siege. And see where our next area of conquest lies. Oh, the Ottomans. They've broken their alliance to fight Crimea. I think now might be the perfect time to do uh, to strike. Kandar will give us military access. Perfect. Once the siege here ends, we'll just march right back over to Greece. Hopefully the Ottomans will be too busy to catch us. In the meantime, we can go ahead and hire some mercenaries. Using our own men will only hurt our manpower. Which is why we'll make two of them here. We're Orthodox. We have plenty of manpower. We fight for the church. The Holy Orthodox Church, of course. These things do happen. The damned peasants are getting uppity, but aren't they always? The war with Trebizond has ended. Welcome back, Trebizond. And the Ottomans, they're nowhere to be found. I'd say it's time to take back our birthright. We'll want to be taking back Thessaly, Monastir, and Macedonia. They're the highest base tax cores that they currently have taken from us. Now let's... March our troops back here, and hopefully the Ottomans do not attack us. Ah, seems they're still busy. 
In the meantime, we need to be increasing our relations with Athens. The year is approaching where we can reincorporate them to the Empire. Look at that. Bosnia. They hate us, but they're helping us. Wonderful. And our two mercenaries can go sit on Thessaly. You've been so helpful, Athens. But you're Catholic. We can't let you stick around. And we get a nice bonus whenever we do annex them. I believe it's uh, 50 Diplo power and 10 prestige. It's not bad. We can set one unit in Sophia and half of the siege in Silistria to hasten this. Actually, the sooner we take Thessaly, the sooner we'll get a ticking war score because that is the war goal, I believe. Yes, the Byzantine reconquest of Thessaly. And this is what it has all come back to. This was the strategy from episode one, blocking the strait between Hudavindigar and Izmit. The Ottomans and all their vast hordes and their, their Timurid and QQ allies, they'll never be able to reach us. We will take back, well, at least part of Greece. Now there is a nice event. If you've occupied Monastir, oh, oh my. I'll leave that explanation for another time. We've had Venice declare war on us with all their, their mighty, all their mighty coalition members. I believed Austria and Poland would come into such a war. But it's only a weakened Austria who has not yet inherited Burgundy. They might not be able to withstand the hordes from Aragon, Papal State, Naples, and Hungary. Although I don't believe Hungary currently has an army. Let's take a look through the ledger at the moment. And Hungary has no units. Hungary is going to get destroyed. Venice, on the other hand, I'm pretty sure they have a sizable army. Well, if we can prevent them from attacking us with their vast fleet. Aragon has a vast fleet. Naples has a vast fleet. We can end this war here quickly and turn our attentions on the Venetian scum. Attacking us when we're weak at all times during history. They really need to learn their lesson, don't they? Our fleet's just done. We can't do anything there. Just go away, Venice. Go away. Don't let the Ottomans come back. Won the Siege of Adurn. Won the Siege of Silistria. Bosnia has taken Epirus. We've taken Burgas. Please send your fleet away. I have no desire to fight the Ottoman hordes. The faster we can group our armies, the, uh, the faster we can step on anybody who gets in our way. I will be using the Detach Siege button here in order to get the siege off of Naxos. Uh, get the siege from Naxos off Athens, rather. Oh, they have huge armies. Venice, why, why do you have so many armies? You, well, you must have a lot of money. They did annex Corfu, of course. Though, Anna, though uh, Naxos existing still is somewhat of a mystery. Come on, finish the siege. Finish the siege. <laughs> Little Rugusa, you were part of the coalition. It's ridiculous. We could use more soldiers, and nobility cannot be bought. Just like you can't take Athens, Naxos. Why are you being ridiculous? On to Zeta. On to conquest. Sophia. Sophia, Rob. Why? Don't rob me of time. Well, you actually agreed. We were only at 28%. How fortuitous. And all of our Greek lands have been resieged. 
unless they come back, this is turning out rather well. At least as far as the Ottomans are concerned. Well, that is going to be it for this video. As you can see, our strategy from episode 1 worked out wonderfully. We've re-sieged, if not retaken, the majority of our Greek lands, or all of the Greek lands, plus some Bulgarian stuff up here, but we'll, we'll worry about that when we need to. Venice, the dishonorable scum, has decided to attack us once again when we're at our weakest, and Austria seems to be taking the brunt of that. I think the tutorial session for Byzantium has ended. You know how to get started, you know how to build a power base. I may go into other strategies you can utilize, but this one works. If you follow my videos, you will succeed. You will reclaim the Roman Empire, if you so desire. If this series continues, I will continue it as a Let's Play. Please leave a comment if you'd like to see that happen. Thank you all for watching, and see you later.